Centipede's 100 Shoes by Tony Ross. Counting from 1 to 100. Centipede's 100 Shoes by Tony Ross. The little centipede was not looking where he was going, and he hurt his toe. But which one? Not this one or this one. Mom will know. I'll kiss it better, she said, said Mom. Is it this one or this one or this one or this one? Or this one, or this one. At last, Mom found the hurt toe and kissed it better. Tomorrow, you must get some shoes, she said. Early the next morning, the little centipede's mom took him to the shoe store. One hundred shoes, please, said the little centipede. Fifty left ones and fifty right ones. Why do you want one hundred? asked the shoe seller. Because I'm a centipede, which means a hundred feet, said the little centipede. Do you want lace-ups or buckles? asked the shoe seller. Lace-ups, please, said the little centipede. Lace-ups are more grown-up. So the little centipede tried on shoes until he found ones that he liked, and the shoe salesman wrapped them up. The next day, the little centipede put on his shoes. It took a long time. Then he had to tie up all the laces, and when, at last, he finished. He had 58 shoes left over. That's because most centipedes have only 42 legs, said his granddad. And then it was bedtime and time to start taking the shoes off again. The next morning, the little centipede put on his shoes again. This time, he was quicker, and he was better at tying the laces. So after lunch, he went for a walk. Oh, Mom, he cried, my new shoes hurt. That's because you have no socks on, said his mother. And the little centipede started to take off his shoes again. All his aunties all began to knit socks. The next morning, the little centipede put on all his socks. He had his lunch, then started to put on his shoes. Right after supper, he went for a walk. My feet feel fine now, Mom, he said. Time for bed, said his mother. So the little centipede took off his shoes and tumbled into bed. You can't go to sleep in your socks, said his mother. So he took off his socks as well. The next morning, the little centipede looked at all the shoes and socks. Oh, I don't think I'll bother, he sighed. So he put his 100 shoes and his 42 socks into his little wheelbarrow and gave them all to friends with fewer legs. He gave shoes to five spiders, four beetles, two wood lice, and a grasshopper with socks for the five spiders and with eight shoes and socks left. What a pair for two worms, the end.